Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. In today's video, I wanted to show you something that I'm really excited about. And this is where I say succulents are opportunistic growers. Now this is, I wouldn't say this is a mother plant. This is not even a medium size. It's smaller than a medium size. And this is my Havartia Limifolia. Now the mother plant had taken around three to four years approximately for it to put out pups. But over here you can see uh, this one is a smaller than the medium size, but yet it has already started to put out a pup. Now I'm not very sure when was the last time I had, you know, actually taken a glance at it. Probably I had just watered it a little bit and forgotten about it and I didn't see it because the succulent was kind of like this. It was on the shelf and I used to just water it over here and just forget about it. I didn't pay a close attention. Today when I was cleaning the shelf, I happened to just move the plant and I seen it is putting out a pup and you can see it is kind of breaking this plastic container. This plastic container is completely worn off. But uh, I was quite surprised to see uh, a very small little Havartia putting out a pup, whereas the mother plant had taken around three to four years for it to put out the first pup. Succulents can be very unpredictable. It all depends upon their mood. If they find the conditions are good, they will start to grow. They will start to put out pups. At times, you might have two succulents of the same variety. One might not be doing quite well. The other one is going to grow really fast. So this is what happens with succulents. So now I thought I will repot it because you can see the soil is very less, hardly any soil and it's already putting out pup. There's less space. So let me try and uh, uproot the Havartia from this pot and we are going to see what next can be done and okay so the plastic pot looks like it was quite brittle so with a very slight uh, touch it happened to break and uh, the pups also have got automatically separated and there you go there is another pup growing i didn't uh, notice that uh, that's amazing so as you can see the pups already have roots so i don't have to be worried that is a good thing uh, but I'm very surprised to see that there was a tiny pup hiding beneath the soil. Uh, looks very light green in color. But any which ways we will uh, try to take it out and see if they have roots. Okay, that is fantastic. Even this pup also have individual roots. So that is going to work out even much better. So both of the pups uh, thankfully happen to have uh, a good root system. So that is going to work out really well in our favor. And this is the uh, main plant or the main Havartia. We will try and clean out as much as the dry leaves. We will also inspect if there is any kind of mealybugs. Luckily, there are no mealybugs on this Havartia. Ideally, Havartias do not get affected with mealybugs. That is the best part because of uh, their leaves. It becomes very difficult for the mealybugs to attack. Now, over here, I already have the pot. I have the same soil mix, so, which is the 80% of aquarium sand, 20% of filtered garden soil. I have a little bit of extra soil, which also has... Uh, the mountain soil and pumice as well so we are just going to put in uh, on the upper layer now guys this is not a top dressing this is the soil itself i do not use top dressing for my plants it might look like i'm adding top dressing but this is the actual soil even beneath the pot as well it has the same gritty soil mix so this is what i'm going to be using and try and cover up all of the roots that are visible so this is how the Havartia is looking. It's looking absolutely fantastic, very healthy. The same process, we are not going to be watering it right away. We will wait for a couple of days. Any which ways, the Havartia is well hydrated. A little bit of paint marks, uh, that is from the renovation. Otherwise, it's doing quite well. Any which ways, we keep our Havartias in indirect bright light. Now, talking about these pups, I will also put them into the soil. Let me get another pot. So now again for the pups as well, I'm going to use the same soil mix, a little bit smaller pot because they are still very small and just uh, push the roots inside the soil. There we go. We have the first one, the second one as well. We will just push the soil. It's the same soil mix that I'm using for all of my succulents, 80% aquarium sand, 20% filtered garden soil, a lot of gritty material in it. Uh, because the sand itself is very gritty and there we go we are done with those two pups as well so we have three Havartia limifolia this one is a little pale because it was kind of uh, pushed into the soil probably after some time it would have come out from the soil but it looks a little bit pale as compared to the other one uh, probably due to the lack of light it's still very uh, light green in color looks very lifeless but it's definitely very healthy but as and when it will start to grow it's going to get dark green in color so it's pretty simple again we are not going to be watering it we will wait for both the pots we will wait for uh, let's say 
uh, two to three days because the roots have been pulled out so we do not want to water it right away there could be a small risk of rot in case if we tend to water any which ways both of them are very all the three of them are very well hydrated this one any which ways is completely hydrated you can see the leaves are very green uh, looks fuller this one is a little bit dehydrated but any which ways that's not a big issue uh, i will wait for at least five days and after that i will go ahead and water this one but probably i'll wait for some more days uh, for this plant to be watered because it still looks very well hydrated maybe after a week or so i can go ahead and water it but this one i think probably i'll do it after five days so that's all about it so you can see guys it's pretty simple again uh, there is no uh, i would say there is no time frame as in when the pups are going to come up you can see this is still very small and yet it has put out pups so it all depends upon the succulent how comfortable it is and when it wants to put out pups even at times a slow growing succulent might also happen to put out pups faster for some people it might take a longer period of time but for some people it might happen faster because this all depends upon the environment the climate and the type of succulent you have so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating